What's up, motherfuckers? General Destroyer coming back. Gonna give you my full impressions on the motherfucking E3 2012. Now, as you all know, day one consisted of Microsoft sucking big fat donkey dick. That shit was trash. The only shit they showed good was Halo 4 and Splinter Cell looked pretty good. Halo 4 looked like a wannabe Metroid, but it was still good. It was still good. Uh, they showed a bunch of this Xbox Live Glass, whatever the fuck, moving around, fucking around with this goddamn fucking ESPN and all these fucking ass that really don't have nothing to do with motherfucking gaming. So that shit was straight fucking garbage. They're proving again that they don't give a fuck about the real hardcore gamers. Uh, you know, they said, fuck them in the ass. Let's give them this Wonder Glass, Xbox Glass, whatever the fuck they call this shit. Uh, Microsoft was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Nothing much to say about that. EA did pretty good. Need for Speed Most Wanted looked pretty fucking awesome. Uh, probably be picking that up. Uh, they showed um, Medal of Honor looked fucking awesome as well. Uh, Battlefield 3, that fucking $50 DLC pack, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You can fuck these other motherfuckers, but you ain't touching me, homeboy. Hell nah. Any fucking idiot that spends money on that Battlefield 3, $50 motherfucker, that's a whole nother fucking game. That's a whole nother fucking game you're paying for some motherfucking DLC. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I ain't touching that shit, and you motherfuckers shouldn't either because you're just bending over and letting these companies stick it up your fucking ass. That's all you motherfuckers are doing. <laughs> Leave that shit alone, man. Sony did good, did great. Uh, some parts did great, some parts did no good. Sony came out with a motherfucking bang with Beyond. Beyond, the new game from Quantic Dream. People that made Heavy Rain looks fucking stunning. Looks amazing. I cannot wait. I am more hyped for that shit now. It looks fucking crazy. That shit looks fucking bad fucking ass. Can't wait to hear more details on that shit. And those graphics. Did y'all see those motherfucking graphics? Who the fuck needs PC? Six year old motherfucking hardware. And look how amazing and how stunning... That shit looks. And that type of title is only available on the PS3. Beyond's only available on the PS3. You see what I'm saying? Amazing. Wonderbook. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Now I know you all, you got J.R. R.K., J.R. Rowling. You know, a person that makes Harry Potter. I know it's a big deal because it's one of the best authors. I know kids are going, oh, mommy, let me get this motherfucking Wonderbook. Sure, son, give me some straight A. Give me some pretty fucking straight A's. I'll give you that motherfucking book. Stick it up your ass and learn how to do fucking spells and shit. <laughs> I know it's a big deal for kids. People, parents that want to teach their kids how to read. Hey, who knows? Who knows? I might get one of the books to my fucking kid. He's got a PS3. Here, kid, do good. Get the fuck out of here. Go fucking learn, learn how to read. Do something educational. Take off that Max Payne, that God of War. You need some educational, son. And, and my daughter, throw their motherfucking one the book. Who knows? It might be pretty good for them to read and shit, but it ain't for me. It ain't for fucking me. God of War Ascension looks some crazy as fuck, too. I mean, you got this elephant motherfucker. Cradle stabbing this son bitch. Opens his goddamn sky. Fucking brains all over the fucking place. Typical God of War. Some crazy ass fucking shit. Can't wait for God of War. Last of Us. The Last of Us. Do I need to say more? That game but fucked any. Any fucking game. In that conference, hands down, lots of cussing. You can you can feel the emotion just in that little short time of gameplay. You can feel the emotion between the characters. You got this motherfucker cussing. He comes out and fucking chokes the son of a bitch. Magnum boom, fucking stabbing and shit. The game looked amazing. This is why, like I said again, who the fuck needs PC? What fucking Last of Us looks fucking stunning. The game looks great, just like a fucking Uncharted. These are console-only titles, man. This this shit looks amazing. Fucking amazing. Uh, then came, of course, after that, um, Ubisoft. Ubisoft, I seen that War Dogs or, or whatever the fuck, that Kung Fu-looking fucking open-world game. Let me tell you something. That game looks good. I love the fucking choreography, the fucking action and shit. One problem I see with that game is the fucking animations. I mean, when the, when the game was so heavy uh, emphasis on martial arts and all these awesome... Martial arts is a very fluid form. Very fucking fluid. Very smooth. These motherfuckers, these animations on that fucking game right there look like shit. 
looks like shit. They need to fix those motherfucking animations. Because I'm a big martial arts fan. And with those motherfucking animations, I ain't sold. I ain't sold. I've seen enough martial arts films to know that shit looks stiff as fucking hell. So yes, it's a good game. But they need to fix the animations, man. Because if your game was so much, it, it's so focused on martial arts with those shitty ass fucking stiff animations, there's no fucking way it's going to cut it, in my opinion. Straight up. Straight motherfucking up. Now, Nintendo, I was really hyped for. You motherfuckers know I was hyped up for Nintendo. <sighs> Nintendo was good, but it wasn't what I expected. I was a bit let down. The Wii U, I'm still going to get it. Still looks good. I can't wait to fuck with the remote. You know, uh, they confirm you can use two now, so that's a good thing. Uh, they show Pikmin 3, which looked pretty good. It's not my type of shit. I might, might end up getting it. I don't know. I might give it a shot. Since, you know, Miyamoto's a bad motherfucker. He knows what he's doing. So, I might give it a shot. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? That guy's so fucking convincing. He can fucking sell you a shit popsicle and you fucking taste it and love it. You know, that guy is awesome to talk. He's a very lo lovable guy. So, I might get Pikmin 3, even though it ain't my shit. It's not amazing. It's alright. Uh, Mario U, let me tell you something. I expected a fucking 3D Mario, you know. Uh, Nintendo kind of went the, the safe route. You know, hey, you can't go wrong with a 2D Mario. Give these motherfuckers a 2D Mario. You can't go wrong, but in a way, it doesn't show the power, the prowess of the motherfucking Wii U. And that's what I was disappointed. I was expecting a 3D Mario, like Galaxy or something. Something new. Something showing the capabilities of the Wii U. Sadly, Mario U doesn't show the capabilities of the Wii U. But it still looked good. I will be getting it. A little let down that it wasn't a, a different type of Mario, 3D Mario. But still a Mario is good nonetheless. So, you know, a tad disappointing. But a tad happy because it's a fucking Mario. Scribble knots look pretty Pretty good, you know, you think of anything, draw a big fat fucking dick, draw an Xbox, stick the dick in the Xbox ass, and maybe you'll pop out of the fucking game. <laughs> or a PC guy, grab a bunch of PC motherfuckers and put uh, the most highest rated game, Half-Life, uh, on, the, on the game and just make fun of them the whole fucking time on Scribble Nods. That'll be fucking awesome too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Scribble Nods look pretty good. Zombie Wii U, whatever, look pretty good too. Uh, they showed a bunch of multiplayer, which I will not be getting because I already beat Arkham City. I don't give a fuck if you can fly with a boomerang or whatever the fuck. I already beat the game on PS3. I won't be buying it. Darksiders 2, depending on where it comes out first. If it comes out on PS3 first, I'll get it on the PS3. I won't buy it on the Wii U. If it comes out at the same time as the Wii U and the PS3, I'll probably end up getting it for the Wii U if I have the Wii U at that time. They showed Mario for the fucking 3DS. Look awesome. Mario Land 2, I'll be getting that shit. Uh, so, Nintendo did good. It did all right. They didn't do what I expected, and they didn't do a fu as bad as fucking Microsoft. Microsoft was straight donkey dick, piece of shit. Now, the one that did the worst is PC. Because PC, uh, for 12 fucking years, they waited for Diablo 3. Didn't even break a fucking 90 on Metacritic. Highest rated game of all time on PC is the fucking 2006, 2009 fucking game. Half-Life 2, ready at 96. That's the highest fucking rated game they've got of all fucking time. So those guys still did fucking bad. They didn't have none on the fucking show floor. And Diablo, <laughs> none but fucking garbage. So PC guys lost the most. Then fucking uh, the 360 guys were right fucking behind the PC guys. Uh, Nintendo was second place. Sony was first place. Sony won. They edged it out. They didn't fucking win it by domination by, you know, by no means, but Last of Us and Beyond stole the show. Last of Us, like I said, destroyed anything at that fucking show. Looked fucking amazing. I cannot wait. Beyond looked almost as good as Last of Us. The graphics look stunning. So, I mean, they're pretty much even depending on what kind of games you like. I will love, enjoy both of them. Just, you know, probably equally. But Last of Us, if I had to choose one, would probably be the route I would go. So, Either way, Sony won first place, second was Nintendo, and fucking dead last was Microsoft, man. So, that's my E3 impressions. You guys let me know in the comment section what you fucking think. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Uh, so, yeah, peace. I hope you enjoyed the video. Au revoir.